Let's take a look here at a calculation. Let's practice a, a calculation and report the concentration of this particular solution in terms of molarity. What is the molarity of a solution prepared when 45 grams of sodium chloride are dissolved in water and the solution volume is brought to, up to 250 milliliters total? All right, um, and so the reason why we say it this way is because when you are um, reporting or preparing a certain molar concentration, it's the solution volume that you care about. So the 45 grams are going to contribute to that, so you always put your solute in first and then bring your volume up to the desired volume, in this case 250 milliliters. So to do this calculation then, um, what you want to recognize is what is the solute? The solute here is sodium chloride, and what is the solvent or the solution? is the solution in water, which would be both the sodium chloride and um, the water together to make the solution. So the solution is the sum of the two. And it's, uh, it has a total volume, in this case, of 250 milliliters. So as it stands, our solution, um, and you always want to think about uh, what you've got going on, you have, you've put two, uh, 45 grams of sodium chloride into probably a um, volumetric flask, so it wouldn't look like this necessarily, and you've brought the total volume up to 250 milliliters. Now this sodium chloride is going to dissolve to give such a solution, and so you'll have the sodium chloride dissolved in the solution, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me, to determine the concentration, then you just um, s write the concentration in the units that were given and essentially convert to the desired units. Molar units are moles of solute per liter of solution. As given, our, our um, solution is given in units of 45 grams of sodium chloride per 250 milliliters of solution. And this is how I always abbreviate solution. All right, so then if we, starting off here, we're in units of grams per milliliter. All we really need to do to convert to the desired units of molarity is do a dimensional analysis type unit conversion. All right, so I want my solute, which is currently expressed in grams, to be expressed in moles. So in order to do that, I just multiply this um, per expression by the molar mass of sodium chloride, which I previously calculated from the periodic table to be 58.5 grams of sodium chloride per one mole of sodium chloride. Notice in my calculation, I put the gram unit on the bottom because I'm converting from grams to moles. So my gram unit cancels. I'm now in units of moles of sodium chloride per uh, milliliters of solution. So I need to convert that unit to um, liters. So I'll use my metric conversion. There's 1,000 milliliters of solution in every one liter of solution. So that will take care of my milliliter unit. Now I'm in the desired units of moles per liter. I just need to do the math. 45 times 1,000 divided by 250 divided by 58.5 equals 3.1 moles per liter. Okay? And another way of writing that is 3.1 capital M, which means I have a 3.1 molar solution. Now, in this case, I have a 3.1 molar solution of sodium chloride. That's a saline solution, sodium chloride. My question, my next question is, what is the molar concentration of the formula unit, sodium chloride, in the solution? Well, the calculation that I have done here was for the formula unit. I had 45 grams of sodium chloride expressed as the formula unit. Um, for every 58.5 grams of sodium chloride, I have one mole of sodium chloride. So the molar concentration for the formula unit is indeed 3.1 molar sodium chloride. All right, but the next question is, what is the molar concentration of the sodium ion? And to think about this, we have to think about this picture of what happens when sodium chloride dissolves in water a little bit more carefully than just some dots in the water. So what really happens when an ionic compound dissolves in water? 
is that the ions are separated and so you end up with having sodium ion and chloride ion floating around hydrated by the water uh, molecules of course so you've got sodium free uh, chlorine free sodium free chlorine free etc 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 so collectively I can think of it as 3.1 molar sodium chloride but I can also think about the sodium ion and if I look at the formula unit um, there's one sodium ion in each formula unit so the molar concentration of the sodium ion is also going to equal 3.1 molar sodium ion okay because it's a one-to-one -one ratio in that particular formula unit alright and another way of thinking about this is to think about it like this I have a 3.1 molar sodium chloride solution and the formula stoichiometry is that for every one mole of sodium chloride I have in solution one mole of sodium ion so then my molar uh, unit which is in the um, implied here it's 3.1 moles of sodium chloride per liter of solution I can then uh, cancel that and I get 3.1 moles of sodium ion per liter of solution which is a 3.1 molar sodium ion concentration okay because it's a one-to-one -one molar ratio with the same reasoning what is the molar concentration of the chloride anion well it's also a one-to-one -one molar ratio you can do the formula stoichiometry or you can just recognize that it's a one-to-one -one molar ratio and again that's going to give you a 3.1 molar chloride ion concentration so you can talk about it in the formula units as a formula unit concentration 3.1 molar but because as a chemist I know that sodium chloride separates into its individual ions I also implicitly know that that's going to give me a 3.1 molar concentration of sodium ion and a 3.1 molar concentration of chloride anion alright now the next question what is the total ion concentration the total uh, molar ion concentration is what I really should have said there in the solution well since every time you have um, one unit of sodium chloride dissolving you end up with one sodium ion and one chloride ion or one mole of sodium chloride for one mole of sodium ion and chloride ion then actually if you're going to look at the individual ions the molar concentration of the individual ions is going to be double the concentration of the individual ions or the um, concentration expressed in terms of um, moles of sodium chloride so if someone specifically wants to know you know the individual particles the total number of ion concentration that will explicitly be asked you have to know how the um, ionic compound separates in solution to know that for every one mole of formula unit you end up with a mole of positive ions and a mole of negative anions then the total concentration there would be of the ions 6.2 molar um, ion concentration Okay. So that's thinking like a chemist right there.